Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we're looking at this next question that deals with our prehistoric sloths compared to our modern day sloths. And we're looking at our diagram, or we're looking at our images side by side. The question we're going to answer is why did the body structures of our modern day sloth change so much from their prehistoric body structures? If you notice here, our prehistoric sloths were as big as some trees, uh, very, very large compared to our sloths today which are very small and can be held in our arms. So why did these body structures change from our prehistoric sloths to our modern day sloths? So let's go ahead and take a look at our answers. We'll pause the video to choose our answer and always we'll re-watch the video to see an explanation and a breakdown of the key concept that helps us figure that out. So <clears throat> first option, the environment must have changed and natural selection caused them to have different body structures. Option two, species naturally become smaller or larger to survive over time. Option three, it is impossible to determine why they became smaller compared to the other slots. So go ahead and pause the video, select which one you think is best, and as always, unpause to see the answer and a breakdown of how we figure that out. All right, we think we got it. Let's take a look at our key concept. So we know that in populations separated into different environments, Natural selection causes different changes to happen to each population. This caused descendant species to end up with differences in their shared structures. So when we're looking at this, we know that natural selection must have caused these species to change. And we know that something probably happened in their environment, whether they got separated or whether the environment changed, causing them to be different over time, in this case, larger or smaller, and other shared structures. So the best answer here is the first one. We know that species do become larger or smaller to survive, but that's because of natural selection and the environment. And we do know it is possible to determine that. We would just have to look back at the fossil record to figure it all out. So that's your answer. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck with the rest.